Welcome to a Ruined Chapel by Moonlight. I'm your host, Berthold Gamble. And today I'm reviewing The Goose Finder by Zachary Schatzer. There is, of course, a powerful recency bias that is well documented. But offhand, this may be the funniest book I've ever read. It's certainly up there. Even when reading a really funny book, I rarely laugh out loud. I laughed out loud multiple times per chapter reading this. I could try to give you a plot summary, but it just wouldn't do justice to this madcap epic. Basically, there's a mysterious virus that gives geese human-like intelligence and the ability to talk. This results in tensions between the world's human and geese populations, culminating in two wars. If this sounds insane, well, yeah, it is. But it's a comedy! And that's just the setup. The titular goose finder is a man named Harlan. Harlan is a gruff, hard, Clint Eastwood type of character, seeking to avenge the death of his brother in the goose wars by finding and killing every goose he can. He's hired by a toaster tycoon to find, but not kill, one specific goose. It just gets wilder from there. There's a mad scientist building a time machine, a desert sorcerer, an old sea captain, a ruthless goose general, a couple of infatuated hackers. The list goes on. It's totally crazy, and I loved every word of it. Each chapter had me laughing harder than the last. I think humor is probably the hardest genre to recommend because it is so dependent on personal taste. With a romance book, for example, everyone has a fairly similar general idea of what a romance should be like. And so even if it's not to their taste, they can still tell what it was supposed to be. But with humor, you either think it's funny or you don't. If you don't, then you're just going to be like, what the hell did I just read? but it's a chance worth taking. Not everyone is going to get it, but the people who do get it are going to love it. This book was recommended to me by Noah Goetz himself, a master of comic novels, and I'm so glad he told me about it. It's an absolute hoot. I try not to quote too much from the books I review, but for this one I'm going to give you a few of my favorite lines. If you laugh at them, it probably means you need to read this. Quote, some of the toughest bastards in the world had marched into City Hall to renew a fishing license, only to come out deeply changed, haunted by the feeling that something had been taken from them. Here is one of the two besotted hackers describing how they started dating. We met at an anarchy convention, which turned out to be a disaster, horribly organized. Then there is one of the scientist's speeches, which I actually found moving as well as funny. Quote, why do things die? That's just idiotic. It's okay when bad things die, like spiders and naked mole rats, but not things like cats, dogs, or people. Especially people. People shouldn't die, and it's stupid that they do. It really creams my corn, I don't mind telling you. Maybe none of that makes you even begin to think about the possibility of chuckling inwardly. If so, you should probably skip this. But if it makes you laugh like me, then you should pick it up. Underneath all the humor, there is actually a bit of a message about understanding and empathizing with those who are different. It's not heavy-handed at all, but just a nice touch that makes the whole story feel essentially good-hearted. A final note. There is some mild violence in the book that might be upsetting to some readers. It's nothing graphic or explicit. It's the literary equivalent of the violence in movies like Airplane, or Monty Python and the Holy Grail in terms of realism. However, because this is a comedy, I feel an obligation to say something. Again, this is another thing that makes recommending a comedy tricky. One person's hilarious joke may evoke uncomfortable memories for someone else. Unlike with, say, horror, where you can reasonably anticipate reading things that are horrific, I hate the idea of recommending a comedy to someone and having them instead find something about it upsetting, however benign it may appear to me. Particularly because it can be especially disturbing when something you take seriously is treated humorously. This is a roundabout way of saying if violence against geese or gunfights or grenades are upsetting to you, 
this book might not be for you. If you want to know more about these details of the book, please feel free to email or DM me on Twitter. I'm happy to discuss.